So for, first day in full patch, how did you feel about the physicality and the tone of practice today? Um, I thought it was all right. We, 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 uh, we practiced well, particularly early on. We're working on sustaining, getting guys to sustain effort and finish practice throughout the hour and 50 minutes or whatever we are on the grass. Um, you know, we're getting it. We're doing a lot of good things. It's a lot, it's a lot better seeing us in that second year. You guys understanding what we're trying to do, how we're trying to do it, um, the concepts of what we're doing, and being able to think less and play faster. So, you know, truthfully for us, full pads or shells doesn't mean a thing. I mean, I, I tell the guys all the time, when you go full pads versus shells, all you're doing is putting on tight pants and some knee pads, and you should never be on your knees anyway. You should be on your feet. So, for us, it makes no difference. We're, we're physical, whether we're in spiders, shells, or full pads. So, I mean, People get all excited about full pads, but when you play in the trenches and you get your fingertips dirty, it's all full pads for us. Yes, Speaking of guys who are making, you know, in their second year, uh, who have you seen make some of that jump and going into their second year who were freshmen last year? Um, I think, I mean, really all of them in, in their own ways. Again, being in that second year of a system, um, not having to learn a, a fresh new system. Just like our, our early enrollees will be when we get to, to summer camp. They'll have seen everything once, and, and so they'll get more, be more comfortable with it, less of a learning curve. So, um, you know, guys like Bain has things he has to work on and improve on that he did, that he didn't do quite as well last year. Regardless of his success last year, he understands he's got he's got a list of things, you know, a self-made list, excuse me, of things that he's trying to work on and improve on. Um, Malik Bryant's been doing a lot of good things. Jaden Wayne, understanding what he needs to do, what it takes to be to be a pro. At, at, I know it sounds crazy, but be a pro in your approach at the college level. Um, yeah, a lot of guys. You know, we've got even guys that are, are second or third year guys, like Ahmad Moten, who's trying every day to find a detailed piece of his, of his craft that he can fix and improve on. So Malik Bryan is is working closer to full time with you guys now up front. Um, yeah, Malik's Malik's a jack. Yeah, he's a, he's a jack, and you know, he's he uh, spent a lot of he's been spending a lot of time with us since I don't even know when. I mean, pretty, pretty much since the beginning. So. He's, uh, he's doing a good job and trying to learn. And again, the more we can focus on detailing our work and not just showing up to work, it's a big difference. You know, punching the clock versus being there until the job is done, done the right way, and, and, and until you can't mess it up, it's a big difference. And our guys are learning that. To their credit, they're getting there. We're not there yet. we got a long way to go, but at least we're on the right path. With Ruben specifically, where have you challenged him to take those next steps? Everywhere. Everywhere. Um, I congratulate him and then insult him. You know, try to. Get, you know, he, but he's naturally born with an edge. You know, he's he understands. He, he appreciates being applauded for his successes, but um, he's always trying to find something. He's always pre he's pushing me to hustle to the next drill and the transitions from period to period, so he can start getting more pass rush work and more hand work. Um, I get to spend a lot of time with with a couple of different guys that aren't on special teams and I detail a lot of things in those periods, and then you see them carry it over. So. With Ruben in particular, it's everything. He's not resting on anything. Um, he's not the kind of guy that we won't let it happen. And it's, again, he's a pleasure to coach. He's a pleasure to coach. It's up to him. You know, how, much can, how much better can we get? You make the Pro Bowl one year, you got to do more to get back. It's easier. It's, 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 it's easier to get to the mountain than to stay, than to stay on the mountain, right? Because everyone's chasing you. So he understands he's got to work extra hard because he's going to get protections. He's going to get slides. He's going to get attention from the other teams. He's not going to sneak up on anybody. So that goes for him or anybody that has success on the football team. Um, you've got to work harder the following year to stay there. You know, be able to not only stay there but improve from where you are. So that's his challenge. And he's, I mean, there's, there's no, there's no pulling out the stick and trying to hit him in the butt. Yeah, he's he's uh, he's self motivated, and it's our job to continue to press him on details, and, and, and he'll do that. So will everybody else. Do. What is in the last couple days? I'm not asking what's wrong, but uh, is he going to be okay? I mean, is he, uh... I'm a D-line coach. I coach the guys on the grass. The head coach will be here in a minute. What does it mean to you on a personal level to work with a talent like that? You know, obviously he's scratching the surface. Mm -hmm. He's played one year. Um, for you, just you know, with your background and, and what you're able to do with him, what's that mean to you to try to develop him? Um, I mean, it's my job number one, but it's you know, it's I enjoy coaching him and everybody else in that room because they all bring.
definitely something different. They're all from different backgrounds, different you know, economic backgrounds, parents from different places. They're from all from different places. Um, you know, Ruben's from Miami, Ahmad's from my area up in Fort Lauderdale, and Double H is from New York. We've got guys from California, so it's a pleasure to coach them all. They're all different. Uh, it's, uh, you know, developing those relationships, not only through recruiting, but when they get here, that, that, that relationship. And there's a reason why I write what I write on my script. This is somebody else's son. So I approach it accordingly. And each of these guys I care about, I love them. But just like Isaiah Taylor, I'll put my foot in their butt when I have to, and, and I get after it, you know? A couple of new things on the new line, you know, it's a couple of veterans. How impactful is that happen for those guys in the game? Um, it's good. You know, we've we've uh, we've had some success in the portal, and, and uh, you know, understand the importance of some of those things, some of those little spots, and guys like EA coming in who's been in this system before uh, at Marshall. So again, taking away that learning curve and, and having a chance to work more on details and, and understanding second level concepts. Um, you know, he's been he's been good for us. Obviously, CJ's seen a lot of football. Marty's seen a lot of football. Um, regardless of level of play, um, Marty's coming in. experienced guys come in, be familiar with learning and the process of learning, being familiar with the rigors of, of a, a practice, of a power five or, or high, high level football practice. Um, even though they'll tell you when they get here, it's always just a little different, you know, just because it's sun, when it's sunny in the spring, in certain places it's nice out. When it's sunny in the spring here, it's going to get you when you go outside. So they're learning that, it's, it, but it's good. It, and it's good to have those veteran guys in the building that, that uh, they know what they're trying to do, you know? They, 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 they figured out their why. They figured out what, what they're trying to do. They have a destination, and they're, and they're working every day to get there. So it's the, uh, the coaching, the mentorship, and the motivation for them is done differently than it is, obviously, for someone fresh up here. What have been your first impressions of, uh, of Marcus Lightfoot? Uh, obviously, everything we saw on film when we were when we were chasing up in, in Chicago, but uh, very, very talented, twitchy, athletic. Um, long. He's just got to learn. He's got to learn. He's got to learn, you know, to be on his own. He's, a, he's an earlier role so he's got to learn to be out on his own. He's still 17 years old. He's got to learn, you know, all the things of, of being an, an, a young adult, you know, growing up, checking in, do what you need to do, go to class, come back to meetings, do extra things. It's the same process we all went through. Um, you know, he's, he's got a chance to be really good. And then with uh, Isaiah coming in, just what's that like coaching him again? You know, having him be around a lot more often, not the other side of the country. It's, it's, it's great. You know, having him my family here is great. And, um, you know, I'll treat him. I, he's obviously my blood, and, I, and, my, and my son. But and I don't coach him. He's out of my position, right. so you know, I see him. I, you know, we obviously talk. He's my, my son. We talk every day. But um, you know. He's got Coach, Coach Jackson, and, and, uh, and G's obviously back there coaching the safety. So you know, I got on his, I, I jumped his butt a little bit today. Uh, not bad, but he made a mistake, and I happened to be in the area. So I, <laughs> like I said, I'm an equal opportunity coach, and I'll get on everybody in a good way. Such a great coach. They don't turn the AC on in here. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing a sweatshirt. Goodness, this is like the hot corner. Yeah. Keem's a, Keem's a heck of a ball player. Um, you know, and we look forward to getting him back on the grass. And, you know, I think anybody that's watched him play before um, understands what he brings. And he's, uh, he can be, he can be all that. And, and then so, and, uh, he's hungry. He's driven, he's determined, he's a student of the game. That's the biggest thing. He, he studies the game. That dude's in here all the time. He's studying the game. Um, he's one of those players that will drive you nuts with questions. Well, coach, what do we do against this formation? What do we do against that formation? What do we do against if they come out of the wishbone? I'm like, who the hell's running the wishbone in college? You know, but he's just he's one of those guys. He wants to know everything about the full picture. And that's a good thing to see. One last question. When you talk about who come out, you know, these, these kids are somebody's son, mm -hmm. right? I think you write that down for you to remember or whatever. How do you, why is that important to you? And what does that mean to you? Because we all have frustration. You know, sometimes we get frustrated, annoyed, we get hot, we have emotions, we're human. Um, I've seen, and everybody has their own style, you know, I've seen coaches that are very quiet and chill during practice, some guys get very fiery, some guys yell and use words we don't teach our, our young ones, some guys don't, you know, so 
because we're human, I always think when you start getting frustrated and you feel like you're not getting a point across, number one, you need to be introspective and look at yourself and say, well, how can I teach this better? If, he, if I keep saying, I'm teach, I, I keep telling him, I keep telling him he's not getting it, well, then it's not his fault. It's our fault. We need, we need to find a different way to get that point across. And then when all else fails and you start to get frustrated or, or mad and you want to you want to lash out and blame somebody else or go off with somebody, you better remember that's somebody else's son. How would, how would you want your son treated in that situation? I'd want my son kicking the derriere at times, but I'd also want him hugged and hugged and mentored and shown why and, been, and show some patience, but also show that discipline and, and, and mentorship too. That's, so that's, cool. that's the genesis of it. That's cool because it makes you learn too. I mean, as you go, we're you're all learning every day. So we kick the bucket, let's all learn something.